From the center of the galaxy, this is Force Center, a show about Star Wars, pop culture, and the ultimate adventure, debating things we love and <laughs> life itself. I'm Ken Napsuck. I'm, I'm Joseph Jennifer. Trucha. <laughs> ah, I was too, I'm too excited for this episode. That's amazing. <laughs> you, you should go second. Oh, we should switch it up. Why not? <laughs> I'm Jennifer Landa. Jump at the gun. Sorry. Uh, I'm still Joseph Scrimshaw. Uh, but that's Jennifer Landa. And that's more important. That is more important. And this is a subjective war. You can feel the tension in the arena here today. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we've come here to uh, battle it out. Subjective wars is our fun, silly show. Don't forget that part. It's a silly. As we said the other day on uh, one of our shows, F-U-N, fun. It's it's uh, it's uh, a fun show uh, to debate things in Star Wars, but, but this is a big one today. This is one we teased at the end of a, a recent episode of Subjective Wars when I kind of let it slip that I enjoy the Victory Celebration song more than the Ewok Celebration song. They both transition well into the finale of Return of the Jedi. Oh, that caused Jennifer Landa to just uh, just want to jump into that arena like an, a gladiator. Am I correct, Jen? <laughs> oh, yes. That was that was troubling. I, I felt, uh, I don't want to say betrayed. It's too oh. strong. But I thought oh. I knew where your alliance lied. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're battling here today. Ewok celebration and finale versus victory celebration and finale. It's going to be a yub-nub good time, though, you know, uh, that just means we're free. So uh, I, I figure we dive on in, and I have I wanted to put my cards on the table first because I said it on that episode, and I'm sticking by, though close, though I have a strong place in my heart, a secure place in my heart for yub-nub. Uh, I'm going with uh, Victory Celebration. Jennifer, we know where you lie, and I want to hear a little bit more. But Joseph, right now, you're like a Steve Miller song. You're, you're stuck. Well, that's not Steve Miller. That's uh, Steeler's Wheel. Uh, stuck in the Middle. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Until the special edition where the uh, Ewoks do their version of Stuck in the Middle, uh, <laughs> which will later be added to uh, Reservoir Dogs. Yes. Anyway, yeah. um, I have just a slight preference a slight lean so i could be manipulated i could be pushed uh to prefer victory celebration oh. to the classic yub yub nub ewok celebration <laughs> uh there are many reasons why mm -hmm. but i'll just start with this one we talk a lot about our bias sometimes of being more attached to whatever we grew up with mm -hmm. i think i have a weird special edition bias that after all the special edition films came out in 1997 and all the excitement of going to those films with adult friends who all like Star Wars and felt okay to talk about it. And we're so excited for those films and then came out angry <laughs> with a long <laughs> list of things they didn't like by the time people got long to, and how dare they replace Yub Nub? I was like, I'm kind of okay with that one. So I think it was like it th being okay with victory celebration was a little shelter in the storm in 1997 for me. <laughs> so that's one of my emotional biases. And that'll be a little bit more analytical. Sure. Yeah. I look, if we had known each other in 97, we would have walked out and been, I would have been like, and they, how did the Sarlacc pit now has like a little shop of horror's mouth. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of like victory celebration. Yeah. So though it then yep. we didn't, I don't know if I even knew the name walking out of the theater. Uh, yeah. Look, original trilogy kids, all of us here, uh, Ewok celebration. I have nothing against it. I, I used to bump that thing in my car. I had it on a mixtape in that Ford Fairmont, Joseph. I'd roll down that window. And and not the tape player in the car. I had a separate tape player on the seat next to me. Because that's It'd the only like thing that worked. nubbin down the streets of LA. <laughs> so the streets of Royal Grande in California, just yub nubbin. Um, so I get it, Jen, but uh, opening statements, go for it. I think when I was in the special edition uh, screening for the first time, I felt, I was shocked. I felt, but there I did feel betrayed. The rug had been <laughs> pulled out from under me. I couldn't get past it. I could get past, well, not Joe Yauza. I couldn't get past a lot of the special edition changes, but that one to me felt wrong. Mm. And I, we just listened to it, uh, the songs before we started this episode. And now I have... I think evidence based on fact, I'm going to say, <laughs> not just my nostalgia. And I'm going to wow. provide that evidence uh, wow. going forward. I love this. This is a, a prosecuting attorney uh, <laughs> going hard here for something. I like it. I like it. Hopefully one of them. will lay out evidence that we have all been betrayed. 
Yeah, uh, ho- hopefully one day this leads you to the White House, John. Uh, this is wonderful stuff. Um, I cannot wait to hear some more of this. I cannot wait to hear Joseph's analytical thoughts. The only thing I'll say is, you know, um, this is this is this does become a George Lucas of 83 versus George Lucas of 97 conversation and the changes, and it's hard to separate that. And I, too, I, like a lot of New Hope changes. Uh, Empire doesn't have a ton of changes, which people will say, which proves the point about Empire being the best. Uh, yeah, Jedi, Joe, Joe Yauza, the whole that thing, and then the Sarlacc, and uh, the Ewoks. Later on, they blink, but in 97, they weren't blinking, I don't think, it's still... But I just like what he accomplished and tried to do with the victory celebration. Hey, Johnny, can you re-record something that takes in the entire galaxy? But I'll say this. I do love Yub Nub, and I love how it starts. I love, like, you got, like, accordions. You got all these things. It's very, very Endor. But, Joseph, I, I want to lean to you here now on the analytical side. I- I- it breaks down for me after that when I'm like, where – there's woodwinds. Where are they? I don't see them in Bright Tree Village. Where's the full band? <laughs> Those Stormtrooper helmets aren't making that sound. Yeah, I mean, there is. It, it is. It strains diegetic versus non-diegetic because, mm-hmm. yes, there are mystery woodwinds coming from who knows where, <laughs> from low grade who knows where. A level uh, down, but, maybe. But the, the drums, like the sort of, the drums are coordinated with, uh, mm-hmm. The stormtrooper helmets in in mm-hmm. both renditions, I think, mixed a little bit louder in the original Yub Nub. Uh, so more mm-hmm. argument that the music is coming from the actual village. But since you can see where <laughs> where the percussion sounds are coming from, and it's one of the greatest parts of all of Star Wars, where the percussion sounds are coming from, the stormtrooper helmets. It, yeah, it does make you feel a little bit more like where's some of the rest coming from, and it's like. <laughs> now, are there is there a council of like Ewoks in the trees who are literally singing or, like? Could we have panned up to, you know, Oak <laughs> 2 and the Yub Nub Singers or whoever was doing this? <laughs> that's what I want. I th- this would be a slam dunk, Jen, if that's what happened. If George said, and then, and then, and then we pan up and, and the singers. <laughs> that's what should have been added in the special edition, not victory celebration. I mean, where, where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? Uh, 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 madam, wherever you'd like to. <laughs> okay, so in terms of like what fits to me in universe, I mm-hmm. think that the Yub Nub song just it makes more sense. It sounds a little bit more, I don't want to say uh, primitive, but it does mm-hmm. sound a little bit more like homemade, right? <laughs> it's, and it yes, sounds like Endor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it sounds like Endor, even like the, the vocals kind of, uh, mm-hmm. obviously Yub Nub, it's singing in their language. I just feel like more immersed the problem would be the special visuals of the special edition where you are seeing the other planets. I, uh, I that that would become a little bit tricky, right? If you have the Yub Nub sure. song with those. But for me, the Victory Celebration song over the Yub Nub, the Ewok visuals, it doesn't fit. It feels like one of those like YouTube videos where they've done a remix and they've put their own music to it. To me, mm. it just is like, it doesn't sync up. Their dancing doesn't sync up. It's too new agey. It doesn't feel, it feels more like epic and cinematic, but it doesn't <laughs> feel as much of like a true Ewok celebration like mm-hmm. the Yub Nub song, which is what we're okay. seeing on screen with the with the dancing Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> Doing their dance. That was a great impression. I was trying to find the shot really quickly of Ori Marco dancing, who's got a little yeah. like shuffle, a little shoulder yeah. shuffle yes, going yes. on that I really like. Yes. <laughs> they're not doing that to victory celebration. You know it. You put on victory celebration. They're, nobody's going to be going like that, right? Well, maybe they right. will. Right. I maybe. agree with you on many yeah. points, Jennifer. I think it is kind of very new agey. Uh, I think it sounds. Uh, my mother used to love uh, listening to what ELO around Christmas oh, time, yeah, yeah, Electric yeah. Light Orchestra, right? And it's a, uh, yeah. it's got a little bit of that vibe for sure. Definitely agree with you there. And I do think we have to conclude that there are two forms of music going on. There's the music for the audience, which is the sweeping in orchestral that crosses the galaxy. That's the music that's playing what's in the characters' hearts and souls. But then the Ewoks are also just jamming to something else (laughs) at the Mm -hmm. same time, because you still do hear the drums and a few like shouts and that. So Mm -hmm. I would I would put it to you that maybe in the special edition version, the Ewoks are not performing an organized song, but random Ewoks are just going wild, screaming and hitting things in a in a drunken, disorganized jam session. 
Mm. Uh, this is great. First of all, you've mentioned ELO, which means you mentioned Jeff Lynn. And I've always thought Jeff Lynn looks like an Ewok with that <laughs> hair and beard combo he's got behind those glasses. So it all works out. Uh, yeah, and, and I almost I don't I don't know if go with me here, like Jen, I think you made a great point about the visuals. Yeah, I, I don't think just that's probably why George was like, look, it's gotta go. I'd love to keep it too, but uh, Johnny can need to record this. I almost want to say those vis- the, the visual argument we don't need to address too much. It might factor in the conversation. I don't want to take it away from either of you here. I'm not the arbiter of uh, the rules here. I'm just saying you can't help that. It does, but it, it does come to vibes. I like the vibe of the galaxy wide celebration. Um, I even like Wisa Free. Uh, uh, that comes later on, by the way. You know, I know we're going back to 97 too. Um, but when I go back and watch it now, that's the version that's there. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I like that. Um, so I, I agree with that there. I, I just, I'll, I'll try to explain, uh, Jen. It did at one point, I love silliness in Star Wars. I love weird. At one point it broke down for me where I just was like, we have this sweeping new age epic that takes us to the end of the galaxy this time. And again, we, di- we didn't know even in 97 that we'd go f- uh, uh, further. Even after the prequels, we didn't know we'd go further. And then the other side, you had this wonderful, catchy, I got the lyrics up. Freedom, we got freedom. And now that we can be free, come on and celebrate. Power, we got power. Dangerously close to some uh, dark stuff there. Um, <laughs> it just seems small. It's 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 Bright Tree Village, the galaxy one, not the not just the rebels on Endor. And that's where I that's where it started to break down for me. It's so on the nose. I have to wonder if uh, at the end of the book of Boba Fett, when Boba Fett's uh, name is added to the song, if that's Ewok singing. <laughs> it's it's the Ewok. Uh, <laughs> it's the Ewok coral. Uh, yeah. Look, look, Jed. I don't know. I because here's the tough thing for you, Jed, to give, convince me of is I do love this song. Like I said, this is the reason I was kind of a unique, awkward kid at uh, seventeen, driving around in my 1981 Ford Fairmont, blasting "Freedom, We Got Freedom," and now that we could be free, I didn't know those lyrics. I just know "Yub Nub." Um, it's hard to convince me that's bad. It's not bad. I, it's good. I think the, to, to me, the biggest thing is picking an emotional tone because I think Yub Nub is more explicitly happy and mm-hmm. almost to the point of being a little cartoonish, but mm. but totally in fitting with the Ewoks. I believe that's a song that they would sing. I don't think I don't think they right. wrote it that night. I think that's probably the song they sing when they, you know trap a big monster <laughs> and can eat for three winters off of it kind of thing it feels like a traditional song but it's yeah. just a little bit more like f yeah we did it and mm-hmm. even though victory celebration is kind of new agey i feel like there is some there's a little bit more sadness in it and i think that's why i ultimately lean towards it a little bit because it feels a little bit more like that song is better for luke and even really for like yes. Leia of like, we won, we did it, but we lost a lot. We're surrounded in love in the moment, but we also have this sort of tragedy of who our father was and what became of him to deal with. And, you know, we're wounded, but we're going to be okay. As opposed to just the Ewoks going like, yeah, 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 yeah. Freedom. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I look, Jed. That that might be the greatest <laughs> point of the episode that, uh, that anyone could make up for victory celebration. I agree. It's sad. And in 1997, Ken loved sad music that was tinged <laughs> with joy. Oh, this was like a Beth Orton song. I loved it. Um, so, wh- where do you where do you go with that, Jed? I go to the end of the song. I think it's really important about the different tones that the, that these songs are trying to give, right? Mm-hmm. And for me. What happens when you listen to Victory Celebration, like it does feel kind of sad. And the way that it ends, it's like, it's try. it goes a little, I think like an octave higher to then go into the main theme. Dun, 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 right? Right. So it's, mm-hmm. so it's kind of like, I don't know, it just, it feels almost too similar to like the, ma- mm. like the majestic cinematic quality of the main theme. Whereas the Yub Nub song, What's fascinating about it is that you do have this kind of silly, quirky, yub-nub, whatever, Ewokies, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then if you listen to the voices, they start to go higher. Ah, the chorus is like, da 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 mm-hmm. And they're going higher and higher until it's like so overwhelming that it goes, mm-hmm. it's like really, really high. And then, da 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 When you're in that theater 
Mm. And you're getting overwhelmed by this chorus of perhaps Ewoks, let's just say. Mm -hmm. And it's so majestic, it's washing over you. And then the triumph of the main theme. When mm. I'm a kid or even an adult, I need some joy. I need some mm. of that Ewok mm. joy. I don't want to go to this. The, yes, we know those things happen. I don't need that sadness. I got sadness in my life. <laughs> I just want this sweeping <laughs> chorus of Ewoks to come over to me. And then the John Williams main theme. And that to me is my happy place. That is Star Wars. Whether you're a kid in the 80s or a kid now, my kids loved it. Would they? Oh, well, actually, I take that back. Uh -oh. They when they when I showed it to them at home mm -hmm. and they loved the Yub Nub song. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the movie, they were like, okay, when, when are we going? Who wants to listen to Victory Celebration on its own? Not me. I've, Who's listening to it on their own? You put that on at a party? You put Yub Nub on, everyone's going to love it. Everyone's going to smile. They're going to laugh. Look at you guys are laughing, right? You're putting a smile to your face. Victory okay. Celebration does not. If, if the helmet drums are out, um, I have an important question. Okay. Have I been hearing something for, you know, almost 40 years, or are the actual words, or over 40 years, are, do, does the Ewokies change the actual uh, English language word celebrate with us at the end? Oh. Celebrate it's, with us. Both. Celebrate the love. Celebrate with but, us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah celebrate it the love. It does go human. Yeah, it does go <laughs> it human. It does go human. Okay. It, does it does go, go galaxy human. basic. Yeah. 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 Celebrate the love. Mm -hmm. Those are the rebels look, singing. Yeah. Look, I'm, look, <laughs> that's Joseph's, Wedge. Joseph's Wedge has got made, a great soprano. <laughs> yeah. So Wedge is Wedge. Wedge. We know Leia can sing. Come on. This yeah. and this all this is also making all of it. Someone might mention this in the comments on YouTube, but like I I do love. I'm not a big fan of meme worthy kind of YouTube videos. I, I I'm sorry. I'm a little bit of a killjoy, but I do love the one of of Star Wars with music removed. So the end <laughs> end celebration of just Lando clapping. It's one of my favorite Clap things. Nothing. <laughs> so Joseph made this great point. Uh, as we as we uh, uh, look at uh, the core issues here, that this is about Luke, it is about Leia, it is about Vader. That's the somber tone. It is it is the the Hobbit sitting at the the bar after the war, going, "It's not the same. We've got mm. the wind, but we don't know what is this world." And that almost sets me up for what comes forward. Some even stuff we're learning now, post uh, Episode Six in the modern era. But but Jen, you're bringing me back not to 1983 because I don't remember much of that experience but again uh playing this on cassette in my car that transition into the end uh end credits the finale with the ewoks and celebrate the love it's pretty epic it's more epic than maybe i want to give it credit for and maybe i have to give it credit today not we're not coming to the end of the discussion here but that's a big point jen uh, i don't know joseph if, if if that moves you like it moved me I, yeah, absolutely. I very, very strongly agree with that because I think here's the thing is I think uh, uh, Yub Nub and celebrating the love and everything that Jennifer described, it's a banger to put on at a party. That is great when Return of the Jedi is the end of the story. Yeah, because it is the happy ending. And I still know people to this day are like, I got up and downs with the sequels. But to me, it was a happy ending after right. end or they lived happily ever after, period. If, right. if that is Star Wars to you and it ends at Return of the Jedi and they take over the galaxy and everything goes great, then then it should be Yub Nub. It should be Celebrate the Love. <laughs> yeah. But for a saga that goes on and for, for a saga that's a little bit more generational and is like, we got this victory, but we have a little bit more left to do, I think that victory celebration emotionally makes more sense to me. Emotionally. But I think it's important to celebrate the love and to celebrate the <laughs> celebrate the triumph because we have been put through the ringer, right? And the power Absolutely. that the Ewoks you know? now have. Yeah, and the song to me, and it's like it's hope. It's it's it is believing that that the you know the underdog it, can triumph. It's shit. why Leia is so powerful in Rogue One. That moment with her, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it does mm -hmm. the visuals, uh, whatever. Sure, but, but you know, it's, it's hope. Oh. Okay, but here, here's um, – this. I, I, I almost don't want to cut you off, Jen, because I, I can hear arousing music behind you in the courtroom as you make this speech to the jury. It is about the hope. Uh, but they celebrate the freedom. They celebrate the power. They celebrate the glory. They celebrate the love. Hope's not in that. I don't even know if the Ewoks <laughs> believe in hope at this point. <laughs> freedom. Hope is freedom. Freedom is hope. Uh, it's one of the same. I think this is a series of uh, sister gods that, uh, that the Ewoks know mm. called – 
freedom, <laughs> glory, power, <laughs> and love. <laughs> They're a pantheon of powerful gods. I think By the it's way, we're... okay, though, to end yeah. on a happy note. I don't think it has to be, like, so som somber and sad. I, I think, But you how know? about this? How about this? I think it is, it's, it's, it's straight ahead joy versus reflection. Bitter somber, somber isn't fair, I'll say. I don't think it's in a, I don't think it's in a, is Yubna in a minor key? I think it's like in a minor, it has some flats or sharps. I can't it's definitely not. I don't think it's a major key. Um, I, I don't think it's all like, you know, I don't mm. think it's bubblegum pop is what I'm saying. Mm. It's not like no. a Britney Spears song, right? It's no. there's got some there's some teeth to it. I think because it is a little weird, right? Sure. And they are singing in Ewokies. So I don't think it's just like, hey, we won the battle. Da, da, da. Mm. This the end. I think it's it's celebrate the love. We have freedom. We have, you know, th this is this yeah. is our triumph. So I think it's more than that. We we lost uh, tribe mates, uh, Nanta, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, you got and you got behind you, Jen. You've got the the statue there of of uh, the Ewok playing the the helmets, right? Yeah. So uh, for those breath, watching, up, breath up, I can't breath never. Up. Yeah, yeah, I got a Funko Pop of him. Yeah, um, yeah. No, the, it, it's the under the, the Ewoks aren't a pop band. I would love that now. I would love an Ewok pop band. The 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 Ewok singers, as we've established, folk rock. Um, is it folk rock? <laughs> Would yes. Peter, Paul, and Mary have covered Yub Nub? Is it folk rock? <laughs> Leaving on a Yub Nub. I think so. Um, <laughs> it's not like it's, we're ending with the modal notes, right? You know what I mean? No, like that. Yeah. Now that to me is like, okay, that's too happy. That doesn't feel oh, right. Oh, wow. Ooh, she right? takes a swing. She takes a swing at figuring Dan. <laughs> I mean, that's like very, like ending on a jazzy swing tune would not yeah. feel right. Oh, right? you couldn't end on that. Oh, imagine if New oh. Hope and... <laughs> Imagine if the medal ceremony pans over and Figure and Dan, modal <laughs> nodes are celebrating as well, doing some doo doo doo. -doo. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That would I imagine not work. how upset people would have been if uh, Joe Yauza had shown up in at the Ewok party <laughs> and done his take on Yub Nub. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's possible that uh, you know uh, Rick McCallum may have stepped in in 1996 as they're preparing this and said, George, we. <laughs> We can't do that. Joe Yaza can only be in one spot. Well, one one of the things, too, one of my final big points, and again, a lot of things I look at in life are just like, what's the emotional reaction? What's the gut reaction to it? Both are, both are great songs. But at the end, Walking Out in 97, or anytime I watch the special editions now, and there's a whole conversation around it. With, we've mentioned Joe Yaza and all that stuff. But I feel the loss of Lapty Neck more than uh, Nub. Oh, yeah. That's where I know my answer lies. Oh... Uh. It's a lefty neck conversation. Now. I mean, that's a whole other conversation. And the reason why it is a loss is because lefty neck feels like a drunken cabaret, it has that cabaret vibe. Mm -hmm. It really shows the character of Cy Snoodles. And just like it feels like dirty. It feels <laughs> like messy, right? Yeah. That's very much in the universe. And that's also why I think Yubnub works so well is because it is kind of dirty. It's not totally polished and slick like Victory Celebration. And, you know, it, John Williams did both of them. Let's be clear. And jo yeah, yeah. Uh, who his son wrote the lyrics. Yes, he did. Yeah. He wrote the lyrics oh, really? as, well as, as well as Ben Burton. Ben Burke did the Africa. Ewoki's yeah. translation, and yep. his son, uh, John Williams' son, did the English version, or basic yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, so you're, we, I'm going to be clear here, I, you, you're saying dirty, like, it's just, it's it's rustic, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, like it's loose, it's, it's not like a Billie Eilish lyric in a Charlie X Yuck song, got it, I got it, I got it, it's a different kind of dirty. Um, cool, but similar to Lapty Neck, okay, I, I, I yeah. can get that argument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I do like that Yum Nub is catchy, and I think that is one of the most fundamental, powerful things about it for people our age is mm. that uh, there was lots of reasons to love that song, but I think even if you didn't know, if the only lyric you knew is Yum Nub, you could fake your way through, uh, and then I would get the lyric wrong at the end that I thought it was Celebrate With Us. But I guess not. But oh, no, can, oh no, no! But can I, yeah. can I, I, I thought that probably for a good fifteen years until the early two thousands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Kenneth, is it important to you that Yub Nub is catchy? Did you like singing it? 
Oh, I still love singing it now. I don't know all the <laughs> lyrics. I, 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 you know, yub nub, each up, yub nub. Uh, you know, Chad, I know you've got these probably tattooed, but uh, I, 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 no, I, actually, it worked. And that's, I don't have a problem with the weirdness of it or the silliness of it. I don't hold it against that. I'm a pro Ewok guy. Uh, I'd run on a pro Ewok platform if I was running for office in the galaxy. Uh, I, I am all there for it. Look, in a perfect world, you get a you, you take a swing through all of it. You, you go, you know, because Cloud City has its kind of own feel. Tatooine has its own feel. They add Naboo later, has its own feel. Uh, the, you got the, the clock chiming in the background on Coruscant, and that adds, it, it, you go through it. So maybe if you spend a little more time, mm-hmm. if, if you could have done, maybe there's mm-hmm. a remix out there that starts with, because again, I like, yeah. I like it starts like a band warming up and, and they're getting going, you know, and Yolando's like, all right, let's dance. Like it's, it's going. <laughs> It's gone, and I like the big epic ending. But if we, so if that had transitioned into the other places, maybe I don't know. There you go. Now that mm-hmm. I could definitely agree to. Okay. I, well, you know what? I, my final. Thing, are we going to? Yeah, have I was going to say thought. we're getting we're getting to the final points here. Uh, you know, it's it, it's it's an impasse probably between you and I. The 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 swing state right now is is Minnesota right here. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I, need, I know, I, need. I think he's clear. Joseph's definitely team victory celebration. He's, I, uh, you know, yes. Look, you've also it's touched my bias. on- It's his bias, but you've touched on the themes. We know Joseph loves themes, you know, since he was mm-hmm. since he was probably watching this in the theater in 83. He was like, <laughs> I, I like the themes of the Ewok song. So, uh, yeah, so Jen, take yeah. us home with your final thoughts. I'll say something and then, you know, all the pressure's on Joseph. <laughs> okay, okay. My final thought is, w- let's look at the legacy of these songs and also the, the uh, what is most recognizable. If wow. I were to put on Victory Celebration, b- a lot of people would not know where that's from. They might just think they c- it could be Lord of the Rings. It could be it could be any sort of random thing from the eighties, potentially some random. Movie. It could be from Willow. It, right? They would not know. Is that Flight of the Navigator? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never on any story. I'm just going to go down the list. Uh, Journey so of that, Natty Gann? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Pulp Fiction? Is <laughs> that from Pulp Fiction? But you put on Yub Nub, okay. and it might take a moment. And then, oh, isn't that that song from the, right? They're going to mm. get it. It's much more recognizable as we've seen. It brings a smile to our faces. It's the quotable. People are going around yub nub, each yub nub. Like it's just the legacy of the yub nub song to me is not just nostalgia. It well, it kind of is nostalgia. <laughs> it fits so with the nostalgia. universe. Yeah. No, if it's nostalgia, it fits with the universe. Um, and it will always be in my heart as the true song of Return of the Jedi. Legacy is a great argument, Jen. You're taking it home here. The jury is scribbling, scribbling notes down. I, w- I would agree with you in the sense of uh, take the special edition rancor aside. Just, just there are a lot of people be like, oh, I, I think that is that the end of Return of the Jedi. They might not, might not even know the name. Yub Nub, though Ewok Celebration's official title, of course. People, even I think even youngsters, those youngsters out there, would be like, oh, Ewoks. Oh, the Ewoks are dancing. Oh, okay. There's a legacy thing to it. I just think uh, going back to George putting this out, making this change, wanting to swing through the entire galaxy, but also wanting to reflect on um, first three uh, movies, now six. I think it even fits more in with the prequel journey when you're looking at Anakin at this point. You're looking at Obi-Wan. You're looking at Yoda and Luke and Leia and the big Skywalker saga of it all. I think George made the right call for the sake of his story, sacrificing a little bit of the popular vote to be a true artist and say, John, get in here. I got it. We need to do something. Um, that's where I lean. So it's, a, it's, it's not the legacy in terms of, of what you're saying, which I think is correct, Jan. I think you're saying a good point. If we got, let's go to a party. I got a party Friday night. I'm going to play both versions. I'm going to see what the, what the party says. Um, but I like it for terms of story, legacy, <clears throat> story, yub nub, hope, glory, Joseph. We fall at your feet here for a decision. This is extremely painful uh, because uh, Jennifer is correct in my opinion. I agree with Jennifer that Yub Nub is a better song. Uh, if it was a choice of which one do you play at a party, particularly a dance party, it's going to be Yub Nub. Um, I think there's a power in Yub Nub as well that it, it might be nostalgia. It hasn't been a part of the film forever. 
and in terms of special edition and some of those parts that were in the original trilogy are kind of fading you, you don't hear people talk about them as much anymore but yub nub has survived um shortly before the special edition came out uh, we did a, my brother and i did a talent show at the university of minnesota in in some of the other uh people in it were kind of uh mean and judgy to us and they were the kind of the cool kids uh and they they walked on stage and they're uh, suits and they were like a jazz band and then the joke was they were a jazz band who did Yub Nub and everybody loved it. Um, mm -hmm. That was like um, like a m week before the special edition came out. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember there was a, a sort of a sense of like, well, that bit's done that and bit's done. it isn't. It's right. the Yub Nub. Yub Nub will never die. George can never scrub it from our hearts. It's <laughs> so great. It's so powerful. Mm. But at the end of the day, I just can't walk away from victory celebration fitting the mood of the story more and it's not to me that it's it's somber or dour or dark it's just it's mostly very positive and very up and it still kind of goes uh, that that raising octave and that you know celebrate with love of, of sort of vibe um but it's just got this slight bit of of bittersweet um, that I think does mix with with the ghost reappearing. It does mix with Luke sort of being separated uh, from everybody and having to be pulled back in. You know, I think part of the reason th that I'm so attached to that is the storybook of Jedi, Return of the Jedi for the kids that I had in 1983. It describes Luke staring off kind of forlorn at these spirits, Leia not really seeing what he has seen, but going to him and pulling him back into his friend's circle of love. That's like the, I'm paraphrasing, but that's the end of the text in the storybook. And like, Victory mm. Celebration is the music for that text. It it mm. matches up for me. I want mm. to celebrate the love and give it to Yub Nub, but I, I can't. <laughs> well, well, it's two to one here. <laughs> Look, I you could also, you know, we got Celebrate the Love. You, you could do the lyrics over the Victory Celebration. Celebrate the love. We could do that version. Maybe yeah. someone do a remix. Um, <sighs> maybe, Jen, you were up against uh, a tough two to one vote here that, that uh, you made some amazing points. But I think your salvation might be the comments on YouTube. I think some people are going to be behind you. Um, and some, won't. For, uh, some won't. Some <laughs> won't. There's always going to be some won't well I, uh, yeah uh, so um we've come to the end here it's two to one i'm sorry jen you've you've uh you still have a path to the white house i think it's, it's, <laughs> it's still okay uh, it's still that's okay. all right i will not let the the legacy of the yub nub song die <laughs> like, spreading no. it to my children and they will tell their friends <laughs> and it will continue until they put it back in. I'm just kidding. I, I, I love that there's a, a version where uh every time you get your watch return of jedi at home you stop what you're watching on like Disney Plus, <laughs> you put in like a VHS copy and just tell your kids, oh, this is what you have to do. Uh, this is how it ends. And you become a yub nub truther and uh, <sighs> scrub Victor Silverish. Well, we have decided uh, today, uh, but it's subjective, which means your opinions matter even more. Uh, absolutely want to know uh, from you all out there. So if you're uh, following us on social media at Force Center Pod, uh, especially on Blue Sky or Threads, let us know. We want to hear. Have fun with us on this discussion. We're on Instagram and Facebook is Force Center Podcast. Uh, YouTube here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, leave a comment. Do all those things. Engage. Engage. Uh, you can uh, get our podcast wherever podcasts are found. Just search and find us. And you can support us directly at patreon.com slash force center. You can follow me at Ken Napsock. Go to my website, kenapsock.com for more. Jen, where can they support you on, online? And maybe, maybe you're going to make a TikTok about the, the video, the, the song again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could, I could. Celebrate the Ewok love with me on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Landa, TikTok at Jennifer Landa, 1138. I know that, I know that there's a lot of Yadno fans out there. So join they me. Are. I do worry about the Figrin and Dan fans finding you, but we'll, we'll, <gasps> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> Joseph, where can they find, follow you and support the film that you're currently making? Yeah, you can find me on social media at Joseph Scrimshaw, and you can check out my website, josephscrimshaw.com. There's a big link uh, if you want to help support the horror film that I'm making. There's all sorts of information there on my website about that. Thank you uh, to those of you who have kindly helped. There you go. That's it. We'll see you next time. Celebrate the love here at Force Center. Bye. <laughs>